Welcome to this Witch City Collector presentation. I'm Paul, and in this video, we got a challenge from the Red Blacks to show you green cars for St. Patrick's Day. And uh, I got my own little spin on it. I got British vehicles because I don't think there are any Irish car manufacturers, or if there are, I don't have any. I don't know that the first one here is, in fact, British, based on a British vehicle, but it's British made. It's a Leslie, a Le actually, a Lesney, Lesney Matchbox, and it's the. Eight wheel crane. Matchbox series. Does not specify. Probably a fantasy, completely fantasy piece. I thought I had one with a hook. Apparently I misplaced that one and it's in a different spot. But uh, this was the eight wheel crane. Then we've got a 1956 Aston Martin DBR1. Came out multiple times. A couple times in green. I just didn't want to buy the Top Gun 5-pack for it. Which I believe it came out with racing numbers on the sides. But this one has license plate on the front. I don't remember if it has license plate on the back. We'll see as it spins around. It does have license plate on the back. Next we have a bit of a beater. It's a Caterham Superlight. Which I remember seeing on an episode of Top Gear where they had... Uh, they, I believe they had to build one... In the time it took the Stig to try to drive from wherever he was to where they were building it. I don't remember who won. Then we have a Lotus. Matchbox Lotus 2008. Lotus logo on the side. In green, of course. Most of these are nearly British racing green. Some are other shades of green. Next, we got a, Mac we got a Hot Wheels this time. A 2018 Bentley. Continental GT3. Beautiful green. Not a bad looking car. With the white tempos. Not a bad wheel choice being blacked out. Uh, what are they? Blacked out 10 spokes? No, blacked out 10, blacked out ten spokes. And one last convertible. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, one last convertible. The 63 Austin Healey 3000 Mark II. With the classic matchbox, with the cl current classic matchbox wheels that a lot of cars seem to have. Grill work and badging on the front, badging on the back, everything you need. Now we're moving on to our minis. We're going to go from from uh, small, from one, from actual 164 scale all the way up to whatever scale we end up with. This is 143rd. A lot of them aren't mentioned in the three inch scale. We got a green light, we got a roof rack, from the Hot Hatches series, I believe. Then we have one Morris Mini from Hot Wheels. Morris Mini from Hot Wheels. I didn't grab out the... I have misplaced, or I didn't, I didn't find the one I have that's a premium. It's got a checkerboard roof. Stripes on the hood, and that's about it. Now, of course, you couldn't have a green British challenge without the, Morris, the um, Austin Mini Cooper... Mr. Bean edition. Actually, this might not this might not actually be the Mr. Bean one. This is the early Matchbox cast, early Matchbox one where they didn't do Mr. Bean licensing, so it's not having the license plates on the back. It doesn't have the license plates on the back. I can't quite get to my one eighty seventh scale, which I should have. Which I no, one, I'm sorry, one seventy sixth scale, which I should have got. A, which actually has all the badging and tampos. And we have a Hot Wheel. Oops, excuse me, Matchbox twenty eleven Mini Cooper Countryman. Again, a beautiful uh, metal flake green. Completely plastic top. Then we've got the Maisto BMW Mini Cooper 8, which historically the Mini Cooper was a hit with a British vehicle. That's why I included that one, even though it's BMW Mini badged. Because BMW owns Mini. They are not called, as far as I know, not called BMW Minis. But that's that's Maisto's issue. One more matchbox, the Austin minivan, nineteen sixty five in the junior mint livery. And I know everybody of a certain age or whatever, when you think of junior mints, you think of Seinfeld. That wasn't that I didn't just watch that show when it originally came out, but uh, pretty good show. Last but not least in the mini line, we have a not so mini mini, the 19, the uh, 143rd scale Mini Cooper S by Diagostini in the classic 
British Racing Green with the white top and your lensed headlights and lensed taillights and extra pieces for bumpers and fancy car stuffs. Now we're moving on to Land Rovers. We got a Land Rover SVX in a dark olive green, a flat green, which is pretty interesting. Not one of my favorite uh, Land Rovers, but uh, I'm a Land Rover, I'm a sort of a Land Rover collector. There's a Roverland, whatever he's up to. We got the 2020 Land Rover Defender by Matchbox in a limeish, in a sort of a metallic lime green. And we've got one of the two tops to the 1965 Land Rover Gen 2 Safari. This is the classic reproduction top. I never found the one with the, with the light bar. I have to admit, I have probably four or five of this one carded because I could never remember which one I needed because I'm not very smart and didn't put a picture on my phone or keep a list. And we've got a classic Land Rover 90, Def Land Rover Defender 90 from Matchbox with the plastic top part. Suspe oh. Just a uh, suspension. Tow hook and push bar. Number 55 on the side. And we've got Ma uh, Hot Wheels interpretation of the Land Rover Defender 90. In sort of a lighter olive green. With the dirt on the sides, dirt wheels, number 90 on the race thing. On race panels, and second to last, the Land Rover Defender 110. Hard top. Premium by Mac, excuse me, premium by Hot Wheels. Rubber tires, metal body, metal base. I want to say this was British Horsepower series. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, if you know. And last but not least, one of the best. British Land one of the best British, one of the best models I have in British cars is the Shuko Tarmac Works collaborative of the Land Rover Defender 90 British military police livery in camouflage. You got some British flags on the front, this flag on the back, some lens headlights, some tempo taillights. Beautiful car, beautiful casting. Gotta take the spinning wheel out. Put that down on the side. Zoom me out a bit. So you can see everything that I did for the everything I took off for the challenge. And we're gonna thank Rat Black and the Misses for the challenge. And say, um, since this is on St. Patrick's since it proves on St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and I believe in Irish you say Erin Gobra or something like that. And uh made it this far. Thank you for watching. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.